Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions. Coming back at you. Another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now, we gonna be talking about, what's his name? Sneeko. Sneeko? Nico. Nico? Pico. Tampico? I don't know. I ran out of bars, guys. Um, but Sneeko. And what exactly am I, am I talking about? Well, I've been realizing a lot. That Sneeko gets a lot of flack. I mean, I've already realized it. But I'm just trying to speak on it. And he gets a lot of flack. He gets a lot of criticism from Destiny and pretty much everyone else. For promoting to his fans to be self-starters or entrepreneurs. Basically, not, basically work for yourself and not need to depend on someone else to make your income. And... Knee jerk, I don't think there's anything too wrong with it, but I do have some points of contention against it. But I also have points of contention from the other side because I think right now, Sneeko's on one side and people who criticize him are sort of playing on the other side. And there's not a lot of nuance to it when it comes to the criticisms that people like Destiny and Mudahar, that was the most recent live, um, you know, there's not much nuance when it comes to that, right? They say you should go to college because it's a safe route. Well, I, my issue with that is that's a coward. That's a coward's way of thinking. Whenever you're telling, whenever you're telling men, and Destiny's telling men especially. I mean, he's telling. I guess he's telling everybody, but mostly men watch Destiny, and Destiny knows this. But even when Sneeko asked, he was like, "So, would you say that my philosophy or your philosophy is better for men?" Destiny's like, "Oh no, mine by far. I disagree with that." You telling men to play the safe route in life and do everything safe, you're teaching them to be cowards. You're teaching them to be scared. And that is that is not the mark of anyone. B play it safe. Do everything safe. Don't don't take any risk in your life whatsoever. Nobody ever gets anywhere not taking any risk whatsoever. You know, it, it, the dudes who don't get any girls whatsoever, they play it safe and just don't talk to them because they, they fear rejection. And their own ego can't take rejection, so they just play it safe and don't even talk to them. That's play, that's that's playing it safe. That's a, That's the thing a lot of these dudes have. There's... There's no risk involved in not talking to them. There's all the risk in, in talking to them because you get rejected, right? So playing it safe is not an admirable trait for a guy. Playing it smart is a better one. But I think, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the right way to say it? Being intelligently dumb, right? So taking calculated risk. Sometimes doing things that's like, hey, man, that's kind of, I don't know. That's kind of, I don't know if you should do that. But you know what? You thought about it. You've studied, you've learned, trial and error. You're like, you know what? Okay, that's all everything is. The best boxers in the world cannot be the best boxers if they know, never throw a punch because they're scared they're going to get countered. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just, I don't agree with that aspect for Destiny. That aspect of the argument. And Destiny's thing is not everybody can do it. We understand that people like you and Musa... You guys have a particular thing about you that most people do not have that helped lead you to be to this place, right? That helped lead you to be successful the way that you are, right? To be as good at editing or be as good at YouTube or be as big as you are and have as much influence as you do. There were things that most people do not have that you guys have. And not everyone can do these things. Not everyone can be successful. And Sneeko's like, yes, everyone can be if you apply yourself the way that I did. Right, so it turns into this mumbo jumbo and it turns into this back and forth. And a lot of it is, 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 is kind of pointless. I really don't even see the point in the debate. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's not as if Sneeko is influencing all 300 million people in America to do this. He's not trying to influence all the hundreds of millions of men in America to do this or all the billions of men on the planet to do this. He's only trying to influence the people that are going to watch him. And he knows, re realistically, I mean, of the people that watch him, a small percentage are... are are going to even listen and i mean i really think you could narrow it down by the people who watch his lives consistently and that's about five thousand people now he lost a lot of live viewers um when he came back because of the whole getting back maria maria thing but we could say ten thousand on the higher side five thousand on the lower side so in between there those are the people who consistently watch him those are the people i think will be most impressionable to sneak his message right and of those i mean his chat disagrees with him on a lot so I think it's, I mean, I think it's highballing saying 20 to 25 percent of that. So what? Maybe 2,000 people are listening. If all of them became millionaires, which they're not, but if all the people who listen to him were to, were to become millionaires, 
what's that, 2,000 new millionaires? That's not gonna, that's not gonna change the economy drastically. 2,000 new millionaires. If they did, I don't think that it's gonna happen. I think even a small percentage of the ones that listen are even gonna be able to succeed. Um, and the thing with destinies is, look, you're not influencing all men. So I really don't see the point of contention on either side. It's like, look, I'm influencing the men that listen to me. I have my my people that listen to me. You have your people that listen to you. It is what it is. Maybe we have a little bit of overlap because we make so many lives together. So some people watch. But for the most part, my in my unique viewers and your unique viewers, we influence them in different ways. Cool. I don't think it's hurting either one. However, I think from Destiny's standpoint, it may not be as necessary to to add nuance but i still think you should add nuance from more of a how do i say ethical or moral standpoint and then i think from sneeko's perspective he should add nuance for a logical standpoint because you can fail at your dreams however it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go after them it doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to go after them in any way i think that there should be more of a calculated sort of risk way of looking at it and it should be a little bit smarter so what is that? Well, first you have to lose your ego. You have to see, am I even someone who can run a business? You have to come to that. You have to, it doesn't have to happen day one, but you have to be open to realizing what you can and cannot do. I know that I'm not gonna be able to be the guy who can just on my own run a fucking big empire business that makes billions of dollars. I can't do that, bro. I can't. And if I were to, I'd have some assistant that I'd pay a fuck ton of money to be able to manage it, right? And he get a large, he get a large portion because it's only it's only right. Like if you're helping leading to all this success, like because I I can't I can't like I just I I know myself I know I could not do that, bro. I especially I'd be so busy with other things and couldn't do it. So you gotta lose your ego. You have to be a humble. You have to learn humility and you have to realize what you do, what you can do, what you cannot do, what you're good at. Can I even run this business? Okay, but just because you can't run a whole big entrepreneurial business, you can. What you can do next is realize how you work, how you tick, and then find a skill that can make you at least one to two K a month. Once you can build it up to make one to two K a month and you're good, if you already have a job or you can find a job with this skill as well, and you can work a job that gets you guaranteed consistent income. Once you find a job that can get you guaranteed consistent income, even if it's like, let's say 80 K a year, so you got, you might get what, maybe five even if it's 70k it doesn't even matter 70k 60k that's what five thousand a month four thousand something a month and then you add on an extra 1k to 2k that changes that right an extra 2k a month is twenty thousand dollars a year so if you're making 50k a year you're not making seventy thousand if you're making sixty thousand you're not making eighty thousand right and so on and so forth or you know ten thousand more and that changes your whole mentality with that because you'll always have the ability to grow. And not only that, you'll get so much on the job experience, especially if you get a, a job that requires the skill that you're using to make money on the side. You'll get so much on the job experience, you'll figure out how to, you, you'll figure out what you what you can and can't do with your skill. You'll have so much experience in it and then you can apply it to your side hustle and you'll know, I could really grow this. I could really grow this. Maybe at some point you decide you want to quit because you know for a fact, all right, I could really grow this. I could. I know what I can and can't do. Because essentially, what you'd be, what you're doing with a lot of jobs is you're using a skill or you're using a, a form of labor to make somebody else money. You know, and that somebody else could eventually be you, at some point. However, I think if if even if if you're fine with the job, you don't have to quit it or anything. You know that you you just have the options, right? You have the options. But not only that, it's like when you have those side things, when you have that thing on the on the side and you don't need the job, it'll show up in the way that you work and your boss will respect you more and the people around you and your coworkers will respect you more. I have an example. I have a friend who worked at Walgreens and he has his own software engineering, like basically business that he does. And most of his money came from that. He was making a good amount of money. His coworkers would kind of send him. His boss tried him and everything. And then... One of his coworkers tried to say how he wasn't going to be successful. He needed to step it up to be successful, blah, 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 right? So he showed them how much he made in the month. And he really regressed that he did this because he was like, dude, I was so insecure. That's so fucking lame. But like he showed them how much he, he made. And they just shut up. And after that, they didn't talk to him like that anymore. He didn't have to worry about them condescending him. They knew that he didn't need to be there. He carried himself in that way for a reason. And he had a pretty much comfortable 
lifestyle at the workplace. He wasn't like miserable, you know what I mean? Because everyone knew he didn't need that job and the boss also knew he didn't need that job so they respected him for it. Most of the bosses or most of these people, they can't even help it. They don't respect you because they know that you need this job and this is all you got. So they look at you and they're like, this fucking miserable motherfucker, like this this loser. This is all you, you, you if, if I decide I want to fire you today, that's it. That's it. That's it for you. If I decide I want to give you three strikes, all I got to do is give you three strikes and you're fired. That's it. And they don't fucking respect you. And if you fucking piss them off in any way, you annoy them, they will find a reason to do so. They will, they will, they will scramble to find a reason to do so. It's, you know what I mean? And they don't, they don't respect. How can they? How can they? So you guys, this, this is what I think both sides could do. Destiny can incentivize people to try to find something on the side. And not, not just something like Uber. You can do Uber or Uber Eats on the side, make some extra money. But I mean, it's like find a skill that you can freelance. Find a skill that you can do on the side, outside of your work. Maybe on a weekend to where you can make you an extra $1,000 or $2,000. Build it up. You're not going to start off doing that. You're not going to start off, oh, I got this skill. Uh, I can do crochet and now I'm making $1,000. Like, obviously, you're not going to be doing that. But build it up. Like, try to... And, and you'll always have this sense of building as well you have this sense of building a fulfillment like oh i'm getting better at this and now i'm so that's going to help that's going to make you feel happier but build it up to where you can get an extra one to two k if you're working a job and with sneeko is using that skill well sneeko is actually telling people to do that now that i think about it but he's he's not really incentivizing people to come up with a smart plan to ensure that they won't just be homeless if they do fail he's just like hey man go all in take the risk He's telling everyone to do that. And that's really risky because most of the people will fail. And it's like, you're not coming up with a fail safe for just in case they do fail, right? You're not coming up with that. And that's sort of the, the issue uh, that Destiny has. And it, it, the issue that I would have. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'm out. Peace.